and pretty closely guarded. Yeah, I mean, like for me, it's 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 you know, it's the turnovers, the rebounding game, and then uh, same thing. It's just our purpose of play. I mean, we don't have a, in this series. They're playing well. And they're hard to play against, and you know you can see early in the game. We're going to have to move the ball. It's going to have to be inside out. And then, like, when we make a couple, we can't go back to, I can score on these guys. You know, we have to understand how we, play, how we have to play in order to play well. And it takes a, you know, a level of, of discipline that's difficult. Um, and that's our chance. And if we're not going to do that, we're just not going to be able to score enough points. Uh, and again, I mean, I know it's not easy. Uh, and our, listen, again, the effort is terrific. I mean, just like the other night, but, you know, like early in the game, you know, you come out, we have a lot better, and the ball is moving, it's inside out, we're hitting it, we're getting open shots, and we've got to stay with that. We've got to stay with that good. Steve, Josh Robbins with The Athletic. How much did Jonathan Isaac's early foul trouble, the first two fouls, and then the third foul early in the second, Impact your team, and, it, and uh, in what ways did it impact? Yeah, well, I mean, it hurts our depth, off, obviously. And then the other one is it's our it's our defensive matchups when they have, you know, their starters on the floor. It's harder for us. Coach Keith Smith, Yahoo Sports. With the um, the, the fall trouble and all that, did, did that really throw you guys way out of rhythm? today with with that. I know you just talked about Isaac, but then in the second half, it seemed like a couple other guys got enough foul trouble. Did you consider changing up the rotation, go back to guys earlier in the fourth quarter, or was that part of it? Actually, that's what we did. Yeah, those guys all played a lot more minutes tonight. I mean, mean, they all went back earlier than they normally do. Usovic went back earlier, Augustine went back earlier. Aaron Gordon didn't come out in the third. So, I mean, yeah, that's what we did. It's not going to look like it because they didn't play the last three and a half minutes, yeah. Coach, Melissa Thomas for the National News. Can I speak to uh, Evan Fournier's uh, performance tonight as well as Aaron Gordon? They, it looked like they, they uh, hit a lot more shots tonight in comparison. They both, to no, they both finished a lot more plays on offense. Cliff, all the way in the back. Tim Reynolds with the AP. The, you guys have sort of been built on resiliency all year. I mean, the end of January, you were out of it. And then you, know, you keep finding ways. Is that going to be the message over the next 48 hours that you know you faced dark times before this season and, and found a way out of it? Is that How much is that going to be uh, underscored? Though, yeah, before? to me, what I just said in the locker room is we can do one of two things. We can either do the proverbial, we're down 3-1, we we'd have to win two in Toronto, they're really good say we're going to fight no matter what and then if we get 10 down 10 stop fighting or we can really fight and we won't know until adversity hits uh, in two nights and i listen our guys have fought hard all year sometimes you know and this happened early in the year as we started playing better teams, but sometimes when you watch basketball games and teams struggle to score it looks like they're not trying that and then that's why watching the film tells you everything but even tonight our effort is good our ball handling, our passing, our catching, and then sometimes our spacing, then we get frustrated. That's our issue. But I, I, I think that we'll try hard. Um, and I have to continue to try to look for ways to help. But we have to stay with, like I said, watch early in the game. That's what we're going to have to play against this team. You know, we don't have a lot of room for error. It's going to take a commitment to quick decisions, ball movement, and pass the guy to pass the ball on target to the open guy besides the one thing that we normally do that I didn't feel we did tonight. Normally we're a good passing team. And I felt even early in the game, we're passes are all over the place. And so even when guys are open, it's high, it's low. And you know, we're taking shots away from each other. And their defense obviously has a lot to do with that. Coach Danny Thompson around the association.com. I know without looking at the game film, the three-point shoot wasn't exactly where you wanted it to be. Do you think you guys took enough quality shots behind the three-point arc? And were you happy with the shots yeah. that you guys had? Before watching the film, I thought, particularly in the first half, I thought we got you know open shots. Yeah, I want to go to know if I watch the film. Uh, Aaron Goldstone, Orlando, Kentucky Post, that's been uh, Coach, you talked a lot this series about limiting turnovers, starting halves, good 
Now, is your focus going to shift a little bit to defensive rebounding? I know the Kyle Lowry offense rebounding game uh, in game three obviously hurt your team. And tonight there was a stretch where um, Baca tipped the ball, you know, wrestled away from Birch, laid it in. Next possession, I believe, um, Leonard took the ball out and it led to a Lauer, uh, uh, Norman Powell three. three. Um, you know, those second chance opportunities against a team that's so good like Toronto, is that just because your team's, you know, scrambling and trying to cover them or, or what's what's going on with the No, the I just not. I, first of all, I totally agree with you. I thought it was, you could make an argument game three, the biggest difference was, you know, their fourth quarter offensive rebounding and, uh, you know, the same thing tonight. But, you know, in the first time out, the two things I talked to him about were we had good energy, but we did have turnovers, and we weren't hitting at all. And yeah, we're going to have to hit. There's no question. I mean, but if you look at the strengths of the teams, if, if we turn the ball over, it's going to be a problem. And if we don't win the rebounding game by a pretty significant margin, it's not going to happen for us. So I totally agree with you. Steve, how, how do you assess Vooch's play tonight, and can your team get back in this series without improved play from him? I think we have to have improved play for a number of guys. You know, I mean, I'm sure he wasn't thrilled with the way he played. You know, but we we have a number of guys who are going to have to play better. How do you assess his play? I mean, you know, not his best, obviously, not his best. <laughs> you know, I think I don't think he'll tell you that when you talk to him. Cause Chris Hazel, I want to I spoke about Gordon earlier, back to him. Uh, he kind of took over that third, showed the things he can do. Um, even sometimes the, the teammates didn't seem to recognize that, but how do you assess his third quarter? Well, I thought in the third quarter he was good. He got his pick and roll. He was mostly pick and rolls, and, uh, you know, he was getting in the paint, trying to make the right play. Coach in the middle, Luke Ketcher, Spectrum Me 13. What specifically have Ibaka and Gasol done to sort of neutralize the ratio of these couple games? Well, they, they're also, they did it tonight too. It's a team thing too. They're doubling him in the post, you know. So uh, when we post the ball, he's not getting any, any post ups he get are only off switches when we get the ball to him quick. So they're, they basically say you're not scoring in the post, which obviously is a big part of his game. And then, uh, you know, I mean, like tonight, he only took two threes. You know, most of his good games, you know, he's, to me, he got to shoot four, five, six threes. That's one of the things I'm going to help him with, too, though. Good?